You seeing this? What happens when you receive a racket which is completely unpainted and blank? You do a test, of course. Nope, this isn't a joke or some fake racket. This is actually a racket that Yonex UK sent me to test. It even has the official holographic sticker alongside it all the usual lasered serial numbers as well as a demo cone code as well. So I received this at the same time when I was sent the ArcSaber 11 Pro tour and play rackets previously and the eagle-eyed amongst you guys would have known about the blank racket when I posted this on my Instagram. So get following by the way, more interesting stuff coming now, especially All England is around the corner link in the description below. So when no information was included with the unpainted racket, I was curious about what's special with it. So upon closer inspection, there was a barcode sticker on the wrapper on the handle that had NF555 on it. So I concluded it was a variant of the recently launched Nanoflare 555. Alongside this blank, there was another 555 racket, but there was also another curious thing with it, where it only had half the decals and printing on it. The shaft and all had full decals, but there was nothing around the frame area. However, I was reassured by Yonex that this is actually a pre-production retail model, so everything is identical to the retail model, which you'll be seeing in stores. And with that, they told me to go test the two rackets together and see what I find. So I decided to share these two rackets out with a few of my friends and ask them to try both rackets and tell me how they feel. I told them that they were the same racket and here's what they come back with. I won't believe that. You're lying. <laughs> Absolute lie. <laughs> so here's some of the responses I got after everyone has had some time testing out both rackets. Uh, I use a uh, Forza Light 9.9. .9. Uh, Astrox 88S, the original. Astrox 88D Pro. Voltrix 70E Tune. Nano Speed 800. The Astrox 88S. 88D Pro. Forgot for a minute. I used the one without the writing on it though. It felt okay. It felt right. Do you know it was a bit head heavy is what it was, head heavy and I couldn't get much control around the net. I played with the first was just the whole, just the blank one, blank. not the green one. Absolutely hated it. I thought it was it was so heavy. Knew straight away this isn't gonna be for me. But the other one, not as heavy, but just as heavy. So didn't like that either. Shots are off, framing everything, so can't say I enjoyed any of it. <laughs> I chose the blank one first. Actually, I actually preferred this over the other one. I used the one without the writing on first. Didn't like it at all. It's too he way too heavy for me. No control at all. Really liked the one with the writing. It was. A, it felt a lot quicker. This this felt really sluggish. I prefer this one. It just simply. It just. It feels very similar to the Astrox which I play with now. I used the one with the writing on first. It was all right. It was a little bit lighter than what I play with. Okay. But it felt okay. It was okay. It was quite nice to use. The complete blank one. Yeah, yeah. It's really head heavy, so I struggle. But my racket's so light yeah. that that's just. It, yeah, yeah. I prefer that one a lot. It's unsurprising that everyone quickly realised both rackets felt different. These are all players who are pretty serious about their game and are aware of the equipment that they're using and why they chose that particular equipment. We can also see that almost everyone thought the blank bracket felt heavier and for some reason than the normal 555. I checked and both brackets were 4UG5 spec and I weighed them completely strong and the blank was 88 grams whilst the 555 was actually 90, so certainly within spec. And a few of my friends mentioned that they thought the blank was quite head heavy and I felt the same way as well. So when I checked with Yonex about what was different between the two rackets, I was told that it was the shaft that was the difference. The raw materials and construction technique was the difference between the two rackets. The 555 has what Yonex calls a Rexis shaft, which is present on all the top end made in Taiwan rackets, whereas the blank has a completely basic graphite shaft. As you guys know, I do a lot of record reviews and one of the things that I'm consistently trying to do is find a better way of describing something like this. It's the feel of a racket. You can have a spec sheet that says all the same things, but in reality they feel and play completely differently. Take the most recent racket review I did for example, the ArcSaber 11 Pro and Tour. If you look on the spec sheet and the racket chart, it literally says they're both exactly the same, bar some slight differences in materials and where it was made. I consistently get a lot of questions from a lot of you when comparing rackets and it normally goes, all the rackets had the same spec, so why did you say both felt different? And this experiment really shows that difference. This concept of better materials and better production techniques produces better performance. Simple. And this can be applied to everything that we come across in life. 
The downside of this is slightly higher costs, as better materials and higher skill craftsmen cost more to train, but most of the time you get what you pay for. However, however, the key takeaway from this experiment is although the blind racket is technically inferior and it was a bit more sluggish, felt a lot heavier, stiffer in not very pliable way and not as user friendly compared to the actual 5x5, it turned out there were still players who preferred it. And this is a key lesson for us all that specs don't mean much until you try it for yourself. I review rackets to try and describe what I come across to give you all some form of context, but there's no replacing you actually trying it for yourself. So let me tell you what I actually thought of the Nanoflare 555 here. And this is a weird one. As a Nanoflare, it's certainly nowhere near as fast as the Nanoflare 800 and 800LT, but has more similarities to the 700. It has the same head shape, handle and shaft length, but it just felt like Yonex just went, let's make a slightly more budget version of the 700 and let's make it head heavier and stiffer. The draggy feel comes from the slightly thicker than usual head frame, but still retaining the aero frame shape design, although with all other Nanoflares, it does have a full length recess frame profile. And like many of my friends felt earlier, the 555 felt pretty head heavy and it's certainly not super head light or fast. It certainly is head heavier than how the 800 and 800 LT felt for me, although on the racket matrix they put them quite close to each other. And for a laugh, I measured the balance point of this racket and actually both rackets in this instance, I'll put an ad here to save you guys from pausing this, so quickly put your guesses down in the comments below before you skip the ad in 5 seconds. It's 320. For both. Incredibly, before we jump into any conclusions, I measured it only with the stock grip and the racket was strong as well. So no extra grip, no modifications, nothing. But I do want to add that the stock grip that came with both rackets were absolutely amazing. So Yonex, whatever grip you use for this racket, it's so, so sticky, it's grippy, absolutely amazing, so please continue using this for all your other rackets as well. So coming back to the review, because of how stiff and head heavy the 555 feels, it's not exactly the easiest racket to play with. The stiffness of the racket is consistent throughout the whole racket, so not only at the shaft, but also at the head as well. But bearing in mind that this is supposedly a mid-high range racket, this is somewhat the response you should be expecting. So as the racket isn't made with the most expensive or best materials, you shouldn't expect it to perform and feel like one. It'll be interesting to see how Yonex retailers all around the world price this racket. This review has taken me a long time because I was trying to come up with a good way to understand and use the right words for this review to accurately reflect how I feel from day one of getting it. It's just head heavy and it feels like it's in a wrong place for this racket. With that, I will see you in the next one.